This painting is simply called The Landscape by Seshu Toyo. It was painted in the early 16th century. It was recopied in the 17th century and disappeared until the 1900s when it was then sold to the Ohara family where it remains in their private collection. Seshu Toyo was the most venerated Japanese artist of his time. He studied in China and his style borrows heavily from Chinese ink painting but employs more contrast and heavier line work which subsequently flattens out the imagery. The landscape itself shows an old figure with an attendant that is walking down this windy path. This windy path creates spatial dimension and leads the viewer's eye to the horizon line at the back of the piece. This horizon line is very unique and interesting as other Japanese paintings of the time did not include this horizon line. Another feature that adds to the spatial dimension of this piece is the use of Shin style painting which adds detailed work and fine line weight throughout in use with the ink washes and the contrast in darker colors and lighter washes as seen in the sky and the sea. Compare this to a more traditional style work by Bokusho Shusho and you can see that the features are softer and less defined which is because uh, Bokusho uses a splashed ink technique as opposed to Sheshu's shin style. You can also see that there's no horizon line, uh, creating an atmosphere of ephemerality. Um, Bokusho has a very interesting relationship to this piece as he wrote the poetry and the inscription at the top right hand side of the painting. Um, this inscription um, describes the old man and his servant going on a journey from their village to a seaport where the boats are going in and out from the east and the west. Um, this um, poet also describes the sea as blue mountains rising up and mentions that he would follow along on this journey and sort of alluding to the fact that this journey is more of a spiritual journey than a physical journey. The second inscription on the left hand side is by Ryuan Keigo and mourns the loss of Seshu and alludes to the impermanence of life compared to the more permanent mark of ink on paper. He talks about how his sadness impacts the way he views the piece, saying that their loss disturbs the landscape and my dreams. The landscape at Sashu involves both the written inscription and the painted imagery. It allows for this balance between written language and visual language, which enhances the overall meaning of the piece. <laughs>